Hey everybody, it's Danielle with um, Dynamics Memory Creations Art. I'm here, it's like 11 o'clock or 11.36 at night, and I decided to go ahead and <clears throat> do a video on a breast cancer awareness theme. Um, I pre-pulled some of the elements to see if they'll cut down on the video time. Um, and see if that'll work. I don't know what direction I really want to go in, but I do know I would like to do the thing for October. So I am going to go ahead. We're doing a chip bot bag today <clears throat> and get that done. Now, um, for this one rectangle, it's going to be 8 by 5 by 2.75. Then you're going to do another one. It's going to be 8.5 and then 5 by 5. 5.5, 5, I'm sorry. And what I have started doing, normally I would just do a separate one, like copy and paste, like this. But I am just going to take this one and move it all the way over to the other end and it's behind this particular portion so um, I don't know exactly where I want to go I prob I don't know if I want to use everything that I pre-pulled before starting or go with something totally different um, we shall see I just thought I would go ahead and record and um, See how everything goes. Play it by ear. Um, so these are some of the things uh, like this. These particular ones I did in PixArt ahead of time. I did in PixArt like two or three years ago, and I never really put them to use. And then these particular um, patterns I did via PhotoGrid. So. Um, and that was on my phone. I have an Android phone. So I went on and did those um, through my app. And I did it the same time around. Um, same time around, I did the other ones with the Pixar app. Photogram and Pixar are my go-to, my most favorite apps. Like, I absolutely love those apps. Um, so now... I'm trying to tile the fill effects. I don't know if it's going to work. I might have to. Um, we'll see. I might have to actually use the square that I pre put out. Let's see here. Yeah, that's not going to work. So you can see the photo grid logo right there. Because when you're gridding with the photo grid um, app, it um, does not allow you to remove their logo when you're creating a pattern. It does with everything else, like if you're just directly editing a photo or a picture or creating something, um, it'll allow you to do it then, but as far as um, actually doing it when creating a pattern, it does not allow you to remove the logo on the bottom right. So, most definitely, well, you can always, there's always ways to work around different things. Little tips and tricks. <clears throat> so, that's always good. Um, these are a lot of the, as you see, I just pre-dish so Sometimes every time I'm just sitting around, I will just pre-do some things. These are my Pixar ones. So... Definitely want to start putting them in use because there's no need of being creative and creating all this awesome stuff and then you're not using it. So I have to always give myself a pep talk to get in there and use everything. So now, ah, that's too big. I want to make it smaller. So instead of 55, I'm going to have to bring the scale down. A little bit more um, wait a second maybe 
because I have everything. I don't know. I don't even pay attention. Oh, no. <laughs> so, see, it's a learning process. Definitely, for sure, it's a learning process on what, how you want to do things and achieve. You just sit and you just click and you just process. And, you know, when in doubt, the good thing is you can always hit the back button or, you know, delete and add something different. It's, see, I like that. I think I want to go a little bit smaller than 15. My go-to is normally 55 for a lot of things, but since I already pre-brand everything, I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it. Because normally if I just fill in with the image and yeah, that's perfect. Um, let's see, you see the photo grid and the photo grid here. So what's a couple of things you can do, you can hide it with whatever else you're doing, or you can just add a shape over it, white it out, and voila, it is gone. And the same thing to this side. Oh, my voice sounds so low. I'm gonna send it backwards a little bit so that okay. So there you have it. Um, so I think I shouldn't. I guess it's good that people everything, but then again, it's certainly not because I'm gonna have to go back in here and fit things the way I want to fit it and um, you know, feel affected. So. I guess it's a good thing, and then again, not so much. So these are my images on my flash drive, and then I have also some downloaded. And I think what I'm looking for is actually another flash drive. So this is what I'm looking for, but. Um, I believe it's on my other flash drive, and I am unfortunately going to opt to be lazy. Well, I might not be able to opt to be lazy. <laughs> Let's see if this will work. I don't know. We are about to see. This is 55. I don't know if it's going to work on this or not. If not, I'm about to find a different solution. Yeah, see, we pre pull stuff. So, another tip in order to adjust and have your pattern fill, and um, you know, your glitter might be distorted uh, and different things like that, you're going to have to pull, insert a shape first and then fill the shape. That's what I have learned and how basically you just see that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be the lazy way today. I'm going to save this again, this time directly on my computer. And I'll probably delete it later once I go through. I try to um, delete duplicates. But I'm going to save it again so that I won't have to sit here and go back and switch flash drives and this is not happening so this time I'm going to go under no I want to go under downloads and so I just hit the sweet love and time <laughs> come on give it to me I did a, um, a Barbie and Flintstone theme earlier for earlier this week for my customers so this is not an alphabetical order it's by day which i find when i'm currently working at first i had an alphabetical order but then i found that it was a lot easier that must have saved somewhere else and i'm gonna have to buy that later but i am not about to sit here and look for it so i'm going to click on make sure it gets up to where i need to go to because it's in a different folder. 
one in mini folders. So I'm gonna save it again. And let's try this again. <laughs> so I'm, I'm making when I do my chip bag because I always like to have a top and bottom border. I never really design without a border. I just like the way it looks and the feel and flow of the bag. So I do go ahead and put a top and bottom border. So that is what I'm working on now, I'm trying to get the glitter. Okay, there we go. So you see how it looks the way it looks. Let me move this one over here. So we want to fix this. So we're gonna right click format auto shade fill effects. Tile picture as texture. I'm gonna leave it at 55. Hopefully, see, I want it to be more defined, especially when you're printing. You want your stuff to be more defined. So, let's see. Let's try some numbers. Let's see, 25. We might have to bring it up. Oh, uh uh. Okay. <laughs> let's try a different number. I don't know why, but 55 is not working. That is my normal. I love 55. Let's try 75. This is a little better. Okay, I see you. Let's try 85. Let's see how I like how that looks. Boom, even better. So I'm going to take out the black outlines this time and make the outlines white. I'm going to copy. Yeah, when I first started doing chip bags, I was doing the top and the bottom separate, so I copy and paste it. Cut down my time. Like, I was doing so much stuff to prolong my time, it was ridiculous. So, I'm glad to be able to take the time to actually learn and, you know, be open to learning. Cause it's fun, like it's fun to be able to work with others and it's fun to be able to, um, you know, please, not particularly please, but you know, be a part of an event, it's always great. Um, so what I'm doing now is working on the middle, but I just did, and I apologize. Um, I selected the middle portion of the bag and shape fill. Now if you need a color that you do not see, you can sample fill color and point it to the color that you want. So that's why I just did. I apologize. I was going on and on about something else and I did not mention that. So I think I'm going to do my famous graduate. I love doing graduates and I love doing glow glow um, glue on uh, the bags in my design uh, so that's what I'm trying to do now let's try that and see okay I like the way that feels alright I'm liking that so I don't know if I want to go with gold wireless if I want to and I'm talking low because my baby girl is asleep and I have to have her near me so I can, um, it's like she senses when I'm not around. <laughs> I tell you, she senses when I'm not around. So, yeah, me, mommy being venturing off too far is a no go. It's not happening. So, well, another thing I like to do is um, with picture effect, soft edges. Um, it's almost like a blending type of situation. I just select the 10 points. Because I want the graduate show a little bit in the background, but I also want this. I think I'm going to use this one. I don't know. This is some. This is a theme that I'm doing. No, it's not a custom request. It's not anything like that. It's just something that I decided to do. Um, so, yeah. I might even add this, some of these sayings, because I have, you know, I do that also at times. Just add, you know, cute little saying, a cute additional picture. Now, the reason why it's not showing up when I move it over, because 
um, it layers as you go, and I had already initially, before I even started recording, shifted through some of the images I already had, and I'm going to strictly work with, well, I don't know about that, don't let me get the line. I'm going to try to work with everything that I have here. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. I like glitter. I love glitter. Glitter is like life. So, I want to try glitter grout. I know that's gorgeous in a room somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out where to do that. So, so um, I'm looking for my glitter. My favorite one that I like to use. I try not to overkill it in every design, especially for little princesses. Um, like that, they'll just walk away from it. That's kind of pretty. Um, but. It's hard when you find something that works and you find something that looks gorgeous and everybody likes it. It's like, why change it? But at the same time, you want to be innovative enough to accept change if you need to. Because this is my favorite one. So I'm going to rotate right 90 degrees and right 90 degrees again. I am going to resize, then recolor, because silver matches, to me, silver matches a little bit better. I'm going to soft edge, move it up, because you want to be able to see it, correction it so it can be a little bit more vibrant. And then I'm going to adjust the size just a little. Because I don't want it to take over the whole. And I'm going to crop it, to be honest. Let's see here. Crop. Yeah, crop it and. Uh, so I like that but I might need to prop it to a square. I don't like it the way it's curving at the top. It looks weird. Okay, square is better than me. So as you see the photo grid is still down there too because I did just a photo grid a few a couple maybe two to three years ago. I did it just randomly, just playing nothing really you know didn't think I would be into doing chip bags and party favors and party decor and shirts and everything. I was already doing jewelry and original custom paintings, but I didn't think of expanding, so I was just making stuff to be making stuff to be honest. So had some time away, but it has come in handy. It really has. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is, I think I'm going to make these, the dark pink, then the light outline, I want to say. You know, I sound unsure because, like I said, I, I do not plan anything out. Maybe I should try it. I'm not saying it's bad to play anything out. I'm just so a on a whim type of person. It's just it isn't always good. I'm not gonna say it's the best thing, but it it works for me. <laughs> so it works for me. I'm going to copy and paste a little bit of glitter, a little splash on the back of the bag also. Pivot it back around. size it to where I need to size it to. I really need to look at what I'm doing, but uh, that was off by literally 401. Okay, so put that here. And 
and I want it to be a little bit more transparent because I want hope to shine through. Show through a little bit, so let's see how transparent. A little bit more. And then I want it, yeah, like that. A little bit more transparent. Let's see. At least the top is, because it defeats the purpose if you have so many elements going on and you cannot convey what you're trying to convey. Even though I have this here too, but it's good to see the pattern on the back. So I probably will not put anything up there. So now I'm going to go get my nutrition facts and my barcode and my logo. Always, always, always put your logo on your work. Always. That is a must. You are branding. This is your work. This is you. So I'm going to do a love nutritional facts. And I'm going to do larger than life. And then I'm going to do my dynamic logo. to move everything over. So. I have a white glove, but for the sake of time, insanity. I'm just going to turn it white and see how I like it. I like it better with the white wording. Okay, so larger than life goes right there. Logo goes down at the bottom. I put my logo on everything except for like banners, but if it has a barcode that can be placed on it, then my logo can be placed on it. Um, I don't really do it. Or things like I said, like the banner and stuff like that. That's just a little doing a little too much. So yeah. So I am going to hit that color. Adjust the outline a little thick. Yeah. Do it like that. Okay, so now the middle, I'm still trying to decide. Now I did all of that and I still do not know what I want to do. I know one thing, I'm going to get rid of the rest of this stuff, because I don't really think I'm going to use it. And to be honest, fight like a girl could really go in the middle. Let's see how that looks. Got to bring it forward. There we go. I don't know. This has gold in it. I really wish it was like with silver. Because I would. Let's see if I can change it a little bit. Recolor it a little. I don't think so. Ah, I really want to use it though. It's like, I like it. But I just don't want to go. Let's see. That's even better. Let me see if I can set transparent co color and get that gold out. But now it's only going to do it a little bit. Let's see, guys. Let's see. It doesn't hurt to try. You see it removed a little bit, but I really like it though. So I'm going to decide to keep it. I'm going to make that executive decision <laughs> to keep it because I like it. I'm going to move this down 
Actually, I'm moving down to the floor where it is now. And you can still see the balloons now. I don't know. I'm trying to get a feel for it. I do know that... Oh, I got so much stuff open. But um, I do know that I want some ribbon PNGs. Let me close out some of this stuff. I'm going to look at some more stuff because I feel like I have. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, ooh, I like that one. Okay, so we're gonna grab this one. to grab this one. I'm going to grab this one. On the let's see here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep this up though. I think I'm gonna start off with those. See how it goes. Go to my downloads. It's midnight. I don't know what I'm thinking. The kids gotta get up in the morning. Baby is starting to be up all day. Plus, I just have to be productive during the day, also. And here I am up. So, as stated in one of my other videos, Transparent background technique. Uh, and I will show you again in a second. I should show you this time around. So you're just going to click. I want to give it a white background. So you're going to click on it, recolor, set transparent color, hit that white, and boom, there you go. I'm going to do the same for this one. Recolor, set transparent color, hit that white, boom, there you go. So. Um, I don't know what I want to do here. I really don't like that shadow. Let's see if I can work around it. Sometimes you just have to work around things. Make it your own. You know, do what you want and can do. I'm going to turn this one this way. See if I got some flowers. I'm just gonna try to collage different things around here. I'm not gonna get rid of that ribbon. I don't know if I like that ribbon now. And this is what I go through, right? Definitely not. I flip flop sometimes. And then sometimes I really, really know what I like and what I want and what I'm trying to convey. So, it all depends. Um, I do like this one. So I want to save that. Okay, so let's see if we want to insert. Let's see what they 
Okay, and the reason I say this is because instead of having like, thank you for coming to my party, thank you for celebrating with me, different things like that, you can always, you always have to write a note for say, you can do a quote or a picture or something like that that pertains to your thing and you can put it within the area, the note area. And I always frame my note area. This is something I've done since I started. Some people do, some, some people don't, but um, I do. I like it. So, um, let's see what else we're going to do. We're going to do and we're going to try to wrap it up as quickly as possible because I'm actually going to sleep be like, the older you get, the less desire you have to want to stay up late <laughs> and be exhausted the next morning and turn Now, back in the day, I just sound so old when I said that. Oh, my Lord. Uh, but, yeah, back in the day, baby. Be up all times the night that late my early morning was serious. Now it's like, um, maybe late night, mm, and early morning because I don't have no choice, <laughs> basically. So that's what that was going to. Um, just looking for some pink flowers. I have pre like clustered some flowers a while ago and. To be honest, I don't know what I did with them. Oh, there goes another right there. Um, I don't know what I did with them. But it was awesome. And it was quick when you just pre-do things and create a PNG and then you can just slap it together. So good. But either here nor there, that's okay. I just know I, I know I just saw some people out there. You know I did. Maybe go on the downloads. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to switch, uh, switch out the flash drive. I refuse, even though I'm. I should, but <laughs> that is being lazy. I know it is. But I'm be lazy today. I'm gonna be lazy tonight or this morning. I'm gonna be lazy. Let's see. I knew I had some pink stuff somewhere. Um, let me see about them shoes, honey. Uh, what else? Oh, you know, I might. There we go. So you just look around. Save so much stuff. I really don't know what I'll be putting on flash drive or what I'll be. Um, well, I want to stay on my computer because I'm so scared that my computer is going to crash. So I'll be trying to get rid of stuff like transfer it over because I need to get a backup computer. That is my goal is to get a backup computer and a sublimation printer and an embroidery machine. And I think I'll be good with supplies. Like I have the heat press, I have this Cameo. Now, the Cameo 4. It's coming out. I don't even know how to use a 3 yet for real. So I don't know yet. Um, what I'm going to do that or not. So what I did there is when you do your transparent background. And you see that it's really not. Like it has an outline. White, white outline that you might not want. You can always just soft edge everything. And you're good to go. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to group everything together, copy, paste, rotate, flip horizontal, and then I am going to move this over so it can kind of be the same on each side. So I'm going to send this backwards behind the ribbon, the bow. Now this color of the bow is kind of 
I know OCD, but the color of the bow is kind of throwing me off now a little bit. I don't know if it's just me. Ooh, that's pretty. Look, y'all. It changed the color. Like I need it to. Maybe I'll do it. Let me make it take some of the brightness out to make it slightly darker. But, ooh, nice. What do you think? I think I like the light better because it stands out better. That is, that is, see how you just stumble upon stuff just clicking around? So what I want to do is ungroup now so I can finish doing what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put that in the So, I'm just doing you know, a little collage around Fight Like a Girl. Let's do it that way. I want to send this backwards behind that one ribbon. I want to keep it in front of the other because this uh, area right here is bugging me. So, like I said, when there's a wheel, there's really a way. If you just know how to manipulate and work through your images. Uh, you know what? I didn't include this one. I was like, I know. I know you lying. Okay. So, there we go. I don't know if I want to put this in here. Let's see how it looks. You don't know until you try. I'm not the no. Let's see if I can sit back. There we go. I'm just doing that temporarily so I can get access to the ribbon. It's a tricky thing at times. So I'm going to bring this ribbon forward and see how I like it. I mean, it all contributes to the collage, but I do like for my images to be same somewhat, you know. So maybe I'll move it over a little bit. Copy paste. I'm gonna put this one horizontally so I can kind of do us to others as you do what done into yourself type of thing. No, that's not it. I, I'm tired now. I'm about to start talking. <laughs> I'm about to start talking out my head. I forgot. Um, I meant to say like you want what you do to one side, you do to the other side. I don't know where I was going with that, but Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. Now about to do this. <laughs> We're about to do this. Um, so flip horizontally, and boom. Now I do want to bring this back forward. Alrighty. So now this is bothering me. You don't want it so stretched out that it just looks bad. So I don't know if I want to go all the way up this way. I don't want to do something else on top of there and have this to the side of it. Um, I'm going to put these heels over here. Everybody loves a good heel. For the most part, that has some good hoop earrings. So, add that. Don't even need those. Um, and I'm going to actually put gold flawless since nothing's on this top of here. I want to put something over here. That's, um, can be visibly appealing to the eye. I'm going to get rid of that one. Now, I'm just going to look through everything. I think I want to use like some fancy scroll work or something on top of there. Um, and see how that turns out. And then we will take it from there. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying excuse me. I just stretched. I don't understand. Like I said, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting tired, y'all. So please forgive me for the randomness. I, I don't know. So let's see here. Let's see what I have in my handy dandy clip art box. I know that was so lame. Um, and I'm not editing this video either. I'm just about to post it and <laughs> roll with it. Let's see here. 
Ooh, diamonds and pearls. But it's something in particular I'm looking for that I haven't used in a while that I think will look perfect with this. I just gotta figure out where it is. And if not, then figure it out and go with something else. Is it? You know what? It's probably on the other one. That is my famous thing to say now, isn't it? Probably on the other one. And I am. My other famous thing is I am not going <laughs> on the other on the other one. I'm not doing it. I'm confused. Okay. Um. Let's see here. See what we can do with this one. Rotate it 90. Let's recolor. Let me see if the ratio is locked. So, I'm going to unclick lock aspect ratio so I can distort it the way and move the way I want to without um, it all changing. Because what happens is when you have a lock ratio, what happens is if I was to adjust the width, the length will adjust. If I was to adjust the um, height, then the width will automatically adjust it. That's not something I want to do. So now, oh, this one's a different size than that one. I like things kind of be if possible. I'm going to put this one at the top. smaller so it can fit better. I already have a lot of roses going on so I'm going to put some of these to try to you know, even out the where I'm going to board. And we're clicking do the other side. So I'm just, I'm, I'm really not, I really don't like, I don't know, I mean, the theme is okay. It's not the theme, it's the design, let me correct that. The theme is also awesome wonderful, it's the design. That um, I'm not, I'm not really, I don't know, something missing. And the way my sleep is coming on. I don't have, you know, the clarity to figure out what it is to make it how I really want to make it, but, I mean, it's not broke, it's not bad, definitely not bad, it's just, I want more, I want more, so, <laughs> sure, let's see here. I'm trying to find the other one, but I guess I'll just... Leave it like that. 
it's different though. Um, that's for sure. Now this bold black butterfly, which I love so much, I want to use it in a different design. Is there we go? That's what it was. It was just everything else is so soft and so gentle, I guess you could say, that it was just really, really um, throwing me off. So, and I was not really aware until now. So. Let's see if we get some quotes going. I like this one. Courage doesn't always work. Sometimes courage is the little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. Mary Ann Ravager. I like that. That's really amazing. Okay, so um, pick that one. I think I saved it. I really do. But yeah, let's see. And I have a plan to sit down and do a, the whole like series of the chip bag, Hershey bars, water bottle labels, you know, stuff like that. So we can have a whole bunch of set. I'm going to have to come back and get that done. But for right now, this is a good start. Just got to follow through. And I know how it how it can with me life be. Throwing them jabs, honey, and I'll be having to step away. But we're going to rectify that. Okay. So, I like that better. I like the quote, actually. And I also like the color flow. Now it, it looks. Now I'm, now I'm happy. I'm so happy, guys. So, that is it. Um, by like a girl breast cancer awareness chip bag i will see you all later and i will show you how we will make matching labels to this um i'll try to pull as many labels as i can um, like i said if you have a request for a certain label that i have not posted yet whether it's a creating a mock-up with that particular label or matching design with a particular label definitely let me know so I can work on it and get it done for you guys. I thank you so much for watching and y'all have a blessed night slash morning. Bye!